Hello everyone! This is Teacher V at nandito ako ulit para tulungan kayong maging vihasa sa mathematics. Ang lesson natin para sa araw na ito ay para sa mga grade 10 students natin. At ang topic is Finding the Roots of Polynomial Equations. This is a lesson from quarter 1, week 8 ng grade 10 mathematics. At we're going to find the roots of any polynomial equation using the rational root theorem. So, I hope na ready na kayong makinig. So, simula na natin. Let's have our first example. Find the roots of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. First step, list all the possible roots of the equation using the rational root theorem. So, para magawa natin yan, first, we're going to list down the factors of the constant term. Ang ating constant term is negative 6. So, ito yung mga possible factors ng negative 6. Then, list the factors of the leading coefficient. Ang ating leading term or yung term na yung pinakamataas na exponent is x cubed. Ano ang kanyang coefficient o yung number na katabi niya? So, wala kayong makikita yung number dyan. So, meaning to say, ang ating leading coefficient is 1. So, we will say that our factors of the leading coefficient is positive and negative 1. Then, list the possible rational roots by dividing the factors of the constant term to the factors of our leading term. Or, i-divide lang natin yung P sa ating Q. And, pag sinimplify natin yan, the possible rational roots are positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2, positive and negative 3, and positive and negative 6. So after na makuha na natin yung mga possible rational roots, let's continue sa step number 2. Using these possible roots, divide the polynomial through synthetic division and look for a zero remainder. So mag-synthetic division na tayo at gamitin natin itong mga nakuha nating possible roots niya. Siyempre, unahin natin yung pinakamadali, yung positive 1. So, let's start with 1. So, isulat lang natin yung mga coefficients ng ating polynomial equation. So, kailangan sunod-sunod. So, 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. Then, i-apply natin ang synthetic division. So, 1 plus, okay, 0 dito or walang number. So, just bring down 1. Then, i-times natin yung 1 sa ating root na 1. So, 1 times 1 is positive 1. So, isusulat natin yung product nila dito sa kasunod na number sa baba. Sa baba ng ating kasunod na number, which is yung 2. Then, i-add na natin. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then, repeat the process. 3 times 1 is 3. Then, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then, negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 8. So, sabi, sa step number 2, dapat hanapin natin yung may zero remainder. E dito, ang nakuha natin ay hindi zero. Kaya, we will try another root. So, hindi umubra sa positive 1. Try kaya naman natin sa negative 1. Okay, so let's try negative 1. So, ganun pa rin. Sulat natin yung mga coefficients ng magkakasunod. So, 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. And they apply ang synthetic division. So, bring down yung 1. With 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 2 plus negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive. Dahil pareho ng sign, di ba? Pag pareho ng sign sa multiplication, magiging positive. At dahil magkaiba to, yung sign nila, negative and then ito ay positive, Subtract to, dahil magkaiba ng sign. So, we have zero. Ayun, nakuha natin yung zero remainder. Therefore, we can say that x plus 1 is one of the factors of our polynomial. Okay, bakit naman ma'am naging plus 1? Eh, di ba negative 1 nga yung ginamit natin put? Okay, so tandaan, ang kukunin mo, hindi yung negative 1, hindi yung inverse niya or kabalik tal niya. Opposite ng negative 1, which is yung positive 1. Okay? So, x plus 1, yung ating kukunin ngayong factor na ating polynomial. niyan. Ngayon, isulat natin yung quotient o yung nakuha nating answer dito sa ating synthetic division. So, we have x squared plus x minus 6. Uh, ang magiging quotient na ating polynomial equation ay 
yung highest leading term niya, bawasan mo ng isa, yun yung magiging highest leading term ng ating quotient. So, kung 3 to, yung leading term, 3 yung exponent, ang magiging quotient niya, ang highest exponent ay 2. Okay, then, yung kasunod na number, yung 1, yun yung magiging coefficient ng ating x. And then, yung negative 6, ito yung ating magiging constant term. Ayan, so meron na ngayon tayong nakakuhang quotient. And at the same time, alam na rin natin yung factor ng ating polynomial, which is x plus 1. So, ano susunod? Since the quotient is quadratic, we can easily find the other factors by factoring. Ayun, i-factor natin itong nakuha natin quotient. And madali lang itong i-factor kasi factorable naman siya. So, iisip lang tayo ng factors ng negative 6 na kapag inad mo, equal siya sa coefficient ng middle term o nung x natin. Ang, ang coefficient niya is 1. May 1 dito, right? So, kailangan pag tinag-add mo yung mga pili mong factors para sa negative 6, dapat 2 ng sagot. So, ano kayang factor yung magsasatisfy doon? So, of course, we will use... 3 and negative 2. Huwag din natin kalimutan, syempre, na i-factor yung x squared. So, ang factor ng x squared is x and x. And 3 and negative 2 yung napili natin. Sige, check natin. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, tama. Then, i-add natin. Try natin kung magsasatisfy ba siya dito sa middle term natin or sa coefficient na ating middle term, which is yung 1. 3 plus negative 2 Okay, positive 1. Okay, so tama. So, therefore, the factors of x squared plus x minus 6 is quantity x plus 3 and quantity x minus 2. Then, saka natin idagdag yung nakuha natin kanina na may uh, 0 remainder. Okay, yung x plus 1. So, therefore, the polynomial equation in factor form is given by the quantity x plus 1 quantity x plus 3 and quantity x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Pero hindi pa dito yan natatapos. So, huwag tayong susuko. May kasunod pa yan. Pero madali mo lang naman yung next or yung third step. So, kukunin na nangayin natin yung ating roots base dun sa mga factored form or yung factors na nakuha natin for our equation. Use the zero product property or i-equal lang natin lahat ng factors na to into zero. Okay? Para makuha natin yung x. So, x plus 1 is equal to 0, x plus 3 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, move lang natin itong 1 to the other side, at magbabago siya ng sign, may iwan na lang ang x. So, that's why we have x is equal to negative 1. Dito naman, ganun din, x is equal to negative 3, and x is equal to 2. Therefore, the roots are negative 1, negative 3, and positive 2. So, nakuha na natin yung answer natin for our example x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, ito lang yung mga tatandaan natin. First, list all the possible roots of the equation using rational root theorem. Then, divide the polynomial through synthetic division and look for a zero remainder. And then, list down the roots of the polynomial equation. I hope na may natutunan ka sa video ni Teacher B at kung may natutunan ka, huwag mong kalimutan, like, share, and subscribe sa channel ko para mas lalo ka pang maraming matutunan sa mathematics. See you again in my next video. Bye-bye!